When creating messages to promote products or services, many sellers use the same approach for new and existing customers. However, this is a mistake. According to Decision Science, customer acquisition does not equal customer expansion. This is because when you're talking to a new customer, you want to remind them why they must change their status quo. When you're talking to an existing customer, you are their status quo and must convince them to stay with you. One difference in creating a message for existing versus new customers is in the amount of stimulation you offer. The neuroscience research I conduct shows that you must amplify the amount of stimulation for new customers. In one study where we included animations and annotation, the presentation that performed the best was the one with the extra animation. We had three groups. One saw content without any animations. The second had a moderate amount. And the third experienced quadruple the movement of the second group. This third group had the highest motivation, the lowest level of fatigue, and like the presentation more. By contrast, existing customers need less stimulation. Here's how I know. In one neuroscience study, I analyzed the impact of pairing up text and images in one of the most important slides in a sales presentation, the takeaway slide. When we create presentations for customers, we design this takeaway slide in a way that is distinct from other slides and repeated often throughout the presentation. We call this the 10% slide, following the premise that business audiences forget 90% of content shortly after seeing a presentation. Since the 10% slide is one of the most important in the deck, I ask the question, should the 10% slide contain a picture? During the study, two groups of buyers view the presentation related to the merits of a software platform provided by an existing vendor. The purpose of the presentation was to persuade buyers to continue using the same platform for managing virtual and in-person events instead of looking for a new vendor. Group one viewed the presentation where the 10% slide did not have pictures and group two viewed the same content except the 10% slide boasted an image. Two days later, we asked people what they remembered and buyers in the no picture condition recalled the main message with 39% better precision and their answers were 45% more accurate. This may be due to the fact that they tended to pay more attention to the text in the 10% slide since there were no other elements to focus on. According to their EEG and ECG data, meaning their brain waves and heart rate, buyers who saw the picture were in a more alert state. The human face and the higher quality of the design may have impacted the extra arousal. The buyers in the no picture condition were more relaxed. It's important to note that the image in the 10% slide was a stock photo and somewhat predictable. So the guideline is clear, avoid decorative pictures in the 10% slide for existing customers to achieve better attention, memory, comprehension, and keep buyers relaxed. Of course, in our study, we designed the text in a specific way, and this criteria will be useful to you. The text was concise, written to fit the task, meaning to help buyers decide whether to renew their subscription. The text was accurate based on stats that had emerged from collaborating with the client. The text balanced emotion and logic. For instance, phrases like quick access and consistent experience were appealing and evocative. And the text was familiar, meaning that customers had seen the concepts before and could relate to them easily. These findings about no seductive visuals for existing customers have other implications. For one, buyers who have a task prefer low arousal environments. For existing customers, the task is extra clear. In this case, it was to renew or not to renew. So the additional stimulation may not be necessary because existing customers don't need to be amped up. They just want to be relaxed and they seek efficiency, not arousal. I'm also suggesting that the multimedia theory of learning needs some updating. According to this theory, people learn more deeply from words and pictures than from words alone. In this study, I demonstrated that in a sales context, especially when approaching existing customers, it is possible to influence memory even in the absence of pictures.